Hello everybody and welcome to my first tutorial of sorts, though I suppose it's more of an ad since it's for a script that I'm actually selling, but well as it worked out I've just been programming some things myself for personal use and some of them turned out decent enough that I thought perhaps uh, people would even be willing to pay money for them. So here we are. This is for a script I call TextFix, which is a texture alignment script. At first I should say that this will not work on, at the moment anyway, on anything but cubes and on any texture but textures in planar mapping mode. Though those are, or though other functionality beyond that I do plan on adding in the near future. Also, this is not a prim docker or prim alignment script, so your builds will need to be precise to get this to work out. So let's get to it. First, we will of course need some prims with which to work. So let's just build a kind of... Alright, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, there we go. So let's build some kind of random object that we may want to align the textures on. We will of course want to link all of that to make it one object. So if we wanted to align all of the faces with the root prims face right here, what we would first want to do is select and set up the texture that we want. So let's say we wanted to use this. I have this selected this texture because it's really easy to see when it's lined up properly with all the other textures around it. We will want to be, to be in planar mapping mode, as I said. And now we can just input anything we want in all of these areas right here. It really doesn't matter. They can be anything you want and it'll work out just fine. You can put it in an angle if you like and an offset too. So we have it looking like this and we would like it to be properly aligned with this texture everywhere else in this object. So we will of course also need the script in each one of these prims. Unfortunately you have to do this manually because as I found out if you place a script in a prim using another script, it is not able to actually set that script to run. So this is about as user friendly as I could make it unfortunately. There also is a note card I have here which will, when placed in the same in the root prim, will uh, configure some of these some particular options like whether or not to output in verbose mode or debug mode or there are a couple mechanical variables that you can change in there but it's really not necessary for general use so I'm just not going to go into that right now it is covered however in the written instructions which I've included with this of course so we now have the texture alignment script in each and every one of these prims one way we can do this is First, I suppose we would find out which face this is. If you have debug menus available or uh, enabled, if uh, you don't, you can just use uh, you can just hit Control Alt D, and then they will be available to you. But since I have them available already, I just select the texture I'm looking at here. Hit Control Alt Shift T, and I see that this is face three. So. If I wanted to align only this face, I would be aligning face 3. The default channel to do this on, if you wanted to use chat as an interface, is 5. So just hit slash 5, align 3. And there we go. Everything is mathematically aligned precisely. Now there is of course another way to do this since I implied that you only 
you did not need to use chat as your interface. If you wanted to do, let's set this up again for something slightly different so you can see it change. And you can flip that if you like, negative angle, whatever you want. All right. So we can also just click on it and it'll bring up this menu right here with all of the options that you can also use through chat but this is much more user friendly I think since this was side 3 hit align 3 and there we go you can also use this to align every side all at once just hit align all these of course are already aligned I suppose but we could change that Can use a different script, by which I mean, of course, texture here. Put it in planar mode. Now, you can also change this one up a little bit if you want, just to show you that it'll do all the sides at once. Touch and align all changed here and here. Everything's properly lined. Now this is not limited to objects in this orientation. They could be any which way you like. And we can still align this in exactly the same way say we we're just going to align side 3 and there you go all fixed up alrighty I admit this is pretty limited at the moment just to cubes in planar mode but I should be expanding that soon to first of all cubes in default mode then cut and hollow cubes and then moving on to other objects which I think should be actually easier to do than cubes so that should be coming soon there are as I mentioned other things to do, that you can do with the script involving the configuration file but pretty much everything that I haven't talked about here is covered in the written instructions so just take a look at those or give me an instant message and I'll deal with any problems that you may have. And oops, I almost forgot. Just as a final bit of cleanup, since we have all these scripts in here, which, uh, sorry, I'm not going to let you just sell to people on your own. When you want to get rid of them, just click here and hit purge. You can also do that through chat, of course, but um, in doing that, as you can see, they have all been removed. So your object is now completely clean, and all of your textures are still 100% aligned. So there you have it. Once again, just give me a message if you have any problems, and I hope it's useful to you.